you guys got another video here for you this one is the wanna cry ransomware which has been plagued uh, the world at the moment and uh, it's pretty worldwide and it's also hit the UK and the NHS and stuff like that so I wanted to show you guys uh, what it's all about you can see here the details of the file shows a uh, disk part and also the original file name is disk part.exe now why is this hit the UK why is it hit the national service it's because they're using Windows XP and as soon as you click on it you can see straight away it's dumped a load of files onto the desktop and it will automatically start to work go to work and encrypting all your data so you can see here the file is running now obviously we know ourselves that uh, Windows XP has ceased to uh, be updated and of course it's not just users computers that they've attacked it's now businesses and and hospitals and banks and stuff like that and there's a lot of computers that in this country that still use Windows XP point of sale systems uh, which are POS systems and also hospitals as you can see here now it may be a piece of equipment that they use and uh, it will run off of Windows XP so they need to roll out upgrades for all that um, hardware uh, because obviously it's hit the uh, network and of course these are on the network and uh, of course it's now encrypting the data you can see the original files are still there but they will eventually be deleted by the ransomware it's encrypting the data as you can see here and it will happen in the background and if people are not using that computer you can see there now it's deleted the original files and just left the uh, encrypted files on the system now this could be personal records hospital uh, records for patients and stuff like that and you can see how destructive this type of ransomware is now it's not just this ransomware you can see here we have video files here and uh, it'll also encrypt those but it's not just this ransomware it's any encryption type ransomware which is really nasty and it was going to happen at some point um, somewhere along the line it was going to happen and it just happened to be this version uh, that got out there and encrypted and there is the final result you'll get that uh, wallpaper changed and of course you'll have the WannaCry uh, version 2.0 uh, and you can see here decryptor, decryptor. Uh, you have to pay uh, $600 worth of Bitcoin uh, to decrypt your files and if you don't pay within uh, three days uh, submit a payment within three days the price will double so it's pretty nasty stuff uh, but you know who do you blame do you blame the people for creating these or do you blame uh, the hospitals for not upgrading their system well you can't blame them really i suppose because they're lim they're limited to a budget and of course it just goes to show you how vulnerable they are they do need to upgrade all their systems to a more secure system and uh, it's whether the hardware runs on that operating system that's another thing some of the hardware they use in hospitals use uh, XP and they may not be able to work off of another operating system and of course uh, there's probably companies out there that will supply an upgrade but it will cost an absolute fortune so it's really really difficult and uh, you can see here once this is on here uh, you're at the mercy of the criminal cyber criminal and uh, it's pretty nasty stuff and you can see now it's encrypted all those files and if this was sensitive data ie patients records and stuff like that you'd be at the mercy of that cyber criminal and uh, it, it's really hit the UK hard and uh, of course they, there's a, they reckon this morning which is Monday morning they reckon that um, it's gonna be hit again people are gonna t turn on their computer and they're gonna end up with this um, ransomware on the system so uh, as you can see here guys it's gonna be uh, also attacking Windows 8 there's a patch missing on Windows 8 I think which actually attacks Windows 8 uh, certain files on Windows 8 so be very careful I don't think it's projected at uh, the home user I think it's more businesses hospitals banks and stuff like that where it's uh, actually been projected uh, to so that is the wanna cry ransomware and uh, as you can see pretty much like any other ransomware it's uh, malicious uh, nasty and encrypts all your data and of course it's it's a global this has gone really global and uh, we haven't seen a sort of outbreak like this for a quite a while uh, since the uh, earlier malwares that used to get like I love you and stuff like that where they just completely plagued the whole uh, world with this uh, type of uh, nasty stuff so what can you do to protect yourself well of course you can upgrade to a, a more secure operating system which would obviously be more secure if you had a Windows 10 operating system I'm pretty sure that this would not get on the system 
and you can see here the Warner uh, Decryptor at .exe is now running, ready to take your money, and uh, of course they will be untraceable, and they've got away with absolute murder, really, to be honest. So again, what can you do, really? You can protect yourself, back up your data on a regular basis, and uh, obviously uh, that's not been in place. Um, the actual uh, support for these companies obviously haven't been doing that, and also it's caused massive mayhem. So that's the only thing I can say is back up your system on a regular basis, back up your data on a regular basis, but if it's hardware that needs uh, a certain type of software to run, i.e. Windows XP, uh, they haven't rolled out any upgrades for those because they probably cost a lot of money. And uh, these are probably um, heart machines and stuff like that that are running off of Windows XP. There's not a lot you can do until they come up with a new update. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this one up, I'm starting to ramble. Catch you later, guys. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.